Today we're checking out a pretty rare car. This is a 1966 Buick GS convertible. This is original Grand Sport, and you just never see these. No, you don't, Dalton, and, and you especially don't see one in this condition. Yeah, it's a great looking car. It sure is. I love the color. I mean, it's just a gorgeous yellow. Um, it's not a pastel yellow, it's just a bright, bold yellow. And the big thing is quality with this. You know, it's got correct motor, power steering, power brakes, and four wheel disc brakes. Yeah. Buckets, console, and just everywhere you look on this, it's quality, quality, quality. Bottom of the hood's painted beautifully black. Look at the paint on the engine. I mean, it just shines everywhere you go, all new hoses. Like I said, the correct master cylinder with the four wheel disc brakes. It's got a beautiful set of headers, all polished headers in there. Um, great sound and dual exhaust. If you're looking for a show winner, this is it. I mean, yep. probably the nicest 66 Buick GS on the planet. I'm at least the nicest one for sale right now, as far as I've seen. And it's one of those colors that just attracts, you know? You go down the road with this thing, with these gorgeous wheels, BFG raised white letter tires, straight body, and gorgeous chrome, it just pops. And the color looks great in here too, but especially outside, you know, this, this thing really shines when the, when the sun's out, and as you mentioned, all the chrome and bright work are awesome. If you've been watching our site for a while and you wanna buy a show car convertible under 50 grand, that you can just jump in and drive, this one's it. I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. And I think this one's gonna sell really fast. I know that because we had this car two years ago and it sold before we could even do a video. You know, the first guy that's seen it on in our showroom. It's yeah. just one of those cars that you don't see and when you do, you better grab it. Well, it's one you have to almost see in person too, just to understand the quality of it. Yeah. It's like you said, Skylark GS. When's the last time you've seen one in person? Just today. I know, but I'm not, talking, <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I love how they did the dual exhaust too. Nice chrome tips coming out the back. The back bumper trim, stainless is excellent. Tail lights are very nice. As you look up and down the sides, beautiful laser straight body. Again, just like the last uh, 442 we did, um, as you go down the bottom of the door and chrome line up beautifully, right in here. Rocker panel has a very light, underneath here has a very light kind of a, a rock guard, just mm -hmm. the bottom two inches, which is nice. So if you decide you, you know, live on just a little bit of gravel or something like that, that paint's gonna hold up and not chip out and, and surface rust for you. Gaps are great here in the door as well. Even the stainless here is polished beautifully. As we open up the door, the paint in the door jam is gorgeous. Rubbers are all been replaced. Bottom of the doors are nice. Door panels, seats, everything is just gorgeous. The dash pad, but the aftermarket Buick uh, steering wheel, even the gauges and chrome are in beautiful shape. The odometer shows 48,375. It's got an AM, FM digital radio that looks correct in there. It's your factory console. Bucket seats are in excellent shape. It's got the GS floor mats. Inside the uh, door jam here, you can tell the paint is just as nice there as it is on the outside. Trunk lid, doors, everything was painted off the car. And how about four wheel disc brakes? You mm -hmm. know, that really makes us stop nice. Felts, even in here, have all been replaced. So going around the back, the back chrome is excellent. Driver side is just as nice as the passenger side. Absolutely gorgeous. Bottom chrome has all been replaced. I don't even know that this stuff can be reproduced. I didn't know that. There's not too many 66 Buicks out there. And then to have them have all new chrome like this, Dalton. Yeah, it looks great. I love the choice of wheels on it too. Just gave it kind of that nice resto mod look, didn't yep. it? Yeah, adds that. The chrome to go along with um, all the chrome styling of the car.
bucket seats, console, beautiful dash. Really nice gap from top to bottom here on the door. Body line lines up good. And the biggest thing is just super solid. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Make sure you look at the undercarriage photos as well. Um, very solid under there, all painted black. All the trim and stuff, like I said, down the sides is nice, but look at all the trim on the top of the uh, windshield and uh, wing windows and stuff is all excellent as well. As far as the mileage, we got 48,578. Kind of go through what works and what don't. Heater fan works. Um, your power top switch is right here. All the interior um, dome lights and stuff work. Dash lights work. Wipers work good. As far as our radio goes, I don't know if we'll get a station in here, but looks like it's definitely coming on. I'll have to figure out how to use a tuner here, but um, looks like the radio works. 